Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing my summer favorites, and I'm really excited to show you guys my favorite products, so let's just get started. I'm currently sweating because it's, let's, let's see how hot it is outside where I am. It's 85 degrees and I'm sitting in my hot car. All right, so on that note, let's go ahead and get started with my summer favorites 2021 edition. Let's get started with my first favorite, which is my nails that are on right now. I don't really know if you can see them, but basically I always get dip nails. So I got dip nails with a pink base and a like very light green tip. And the nail place I go to, I love all the workers there. Like they're just, they're so sweet. I love the length too, cause these are my natural nails. Um, but I don't like nails that are like super, super long where like you can't do anything. So yeah, I've been obsessed with these recently. I haven't even had them for a week yet and I'm just, I'm in love. So the next thing I've been loving is my notes app, which I'm on right now, actually. But what I've been doing with my notes app is I'll put a screenshot on the screen, but I've been making different sections. Like for example, we'll go to my to-do list section. So here's for today. So respond to comments. So I did like my YouTube comments, check my texts, orange theory at nine, comment app. I actually did not work on that, so I can't really check that off, which is a little sad. Get ready and film video, doing that right now. Oh, I'm so sad. I have to take off Walk Cooper because my dog, his name is Cooper, he is actually at his doggy daycare because we're going to go to Disneyland tomorrow, so obviously he can't come, which is so sad, so we dropped him off this morning. I make a section of to-do items. I make, sometimes I make little like timestamps and I add an if time section. Rarely things on the section get completed, but you know what? It's always good to shoot for the stars. Yeah, and I think it's super great because you don't have to buy like a $50 planner in order to like get things done, be productive. You seriously, all you need is like the notes app in your phone. I've been writing my to-do list for the day, usually like right before I go to bed. And that way I just kind of like know what I'm doing the next day. The next thing are my Ray-Bans. I actually left my Ray-Bans at my friend Rachel's house. So I don't have them with me, but I just love them. They're like the perfect size. They're not too oversized. They're like aviator style. And they're just such nice, good quality sunglasses. The last few days I have not had them. I have been squinting so much. And I already have really bad eyesight. If you didn't know that about me, I have bad distance vision. But yeah, today in Orange Theory, I was like trying to look at the board um, to do like the weight exercises across the room and I like could not see. And then I realized there was literally a screen right next to me I could be looking at. That's that's another story though. I think Ray-Bans would be a great gift to ask for for Christmas, for, what's it, Halloween, for your birthday, anything like that. So the next three items are books. I think some people think books are like embarrassing or like nerdy or like cringy, but um, I just, ugh, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant. I don't get how being an educated person and an intellectual, how is that weird or cringy? It just doesn't, that doesn't sit right with me. But anyways, the point of that rant is just to tell you guys to stop the book reading slander. Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther, I believe. It's a summer book. It's based in Martha's Vineyard, which I was obsessed with. It's like a YA book. So basically in the book, it's a lot about family values. It's a lot about kind of like finding yourself again. It's a lot about, um, I love it. It's, I think I've read it three times and I literally got it in May. So that doesn't tell you anything, then it should. Also, the cover art is super cute. Next book I actually just finished reading. It's called Heartbreakers and Fakers. It's kind of another book similar to the last one in the fact that it's like a YA kind of rom-com type book. This book, I love it because of its realism. Um, it's kind of like a fake dating, enemies to lovers kind of book, but, but, but. It's very realistic in the fact that the main character doesn't immediately fall for the person she fake dates. Um, I feel like to all the boys I loved before kind of, it's very, mm, it kind of like exemplified a very perfect version of life. And in this book, it really focuses on like toxic friendships. That's one of the things it talks about and like self-reflection. And the main character just goes through lots of like, um, 
like trying kind of like trials and tribulations so i think this is a great read the next thing is vanilla oat milk lattes i always order a oat milk latte with light ice and light vanilla it's amazing i go to this local place by my house so i'm not gonna say the name but this place that i go to has the best chai tea scones as well like just out of this world incredible and this coffee is just so so good okay moving on to my next drink and that is my yeti water bottle this is the 26 ounce I think rambler tumbler something like that but i got it with the straw lid and i got another one that's like the slider type lid the mint color is super cute and it fits in my car cup holders which is just that's the reason i got this because my hydrofloss did not fit in my cup car cup holders i was sick of it so i got this next thing is emma chamberlain's podcast and her podcast is called anything goes my favorite episodes of hers are her advice sessions me and my mom listen to them in the car all the time usually after we do like a workout class or something or anytime we drive together we listen to it and we even my mom she also is like wow she gives really good advice just had to clear my sd card I think I literally have to do that in every single one of my videos, and it's ridiculous. The next thing I've been absolutely obsessed with is ice rolling. So, I got an ice roll. I think it was on sale for $6 on Amazon, and it's my holy grail at this point, honestly. So amazing. You just keep it in the freezer, and then every morning, you pop open the fridge. I listen to some affirmations, and I just you know ice roll and it just feels so nice and so refreshing next thing i've been obsessed with is the juliet has a gun perfume and i got this from sephora because i had a sephora gift card shout out to my aunt and uncle but basically this perfume is really cool because it's like an unperfume it works with the chemical ph of your skin to like create like a uniquely you scent next thing is my journal i am obsessed with this journal literally is my favorite thing this journal this is my third time repurchasing it it's about 12 dollars on amazon or urban outfitters and it's a like little self-care journal and inside you can write like an intention how long you slept, how your dreams were, some notes. In the notes section, I always write like what I did the night before so I can always look back and remember. Like the other night I watched Black Widow, so I wrote that. Super cute and it's pretty compact so you can take it on vacation. So the next thing is this tote bag. I believe this is from Redbubble and I just love the quote on it. I've just been loving carrying that to workout classes, to go to coffee shops, to go to my nail appointment, whatever it may be. That is perfect. It looks really good with like a little beachy summer outfit. Finally, the last thing is, I've actually been talking about it throughout the video, but it is Orange Theory and hot yoga. I've been going to hot yoga for a while. I did a little trial at a hot yoga place and let me tell you, I loved it. Me and my mom did it together. One point I was in class and it was literally 114, but I felt amazing. It's just very like rejuvenating it's very centering it's very detoxifying and it just feels really really good and then i've only taken two orange theory classes so far but i've been loving those two the thing with orange theory is basically you're on the rowers and the floor for half the class so like 30 minutes and then you're on the tread for the other 30 minutes i would recommend if you want to sign up for a class go down there at least 30 minutes before class starts that way you can tour the studio set up a locker get water okay so the audio cut out so i'm just going to be kind of narrating what i was discussing in these clips so right here i'm just talking about the message behind orange theory which is to give you a healthy heart through cardiovascular exercises and i just really enjoy group workout classes because i feel like it really pushes you to do your best and then also you get like a heart rate monitor that you can kind of put around your arm and it tracks like what zone you're in. And during different parts of class, you want to be in different zones. Like they'll yell out like, oh, like push. And you want to be in orange and red during those times or base. And you want to be in like, blue and green during those times. I'm still kind of learning, but that's the basis behind it. But yeah, workout classes have just been my favorite way to exercise recently. Thank you guys for watching. You've reached the outro. I actually remember to film an outro this time, though the audio got cut out, but we're not going to talk about it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I've been loving sit down videos recently. So yeah, bye.